Hello and welcome everyone, it's Martin here at CryptoGains. Today we're focusing on on-chain analysis of the crypto world, beginning with the number of active addresses for Bitcoin and Ethereum. What, can, what we can see is very substantial drops by about 24% in the number of active addresses for Bitcoin, which returns us to the levels of May-June 2020, and a similar drop in Ethereum, about 30% returning us to the level of January-March 2021. Of course, a lower number of active addresses means less activity, less interest in both cryptocurrencies, suggesting the potential for a bit of price stagnation in the short to mid-term. Very similar dynamics with the total transfer volume, drops of approximately 60-70% to 70 both for Ethereum and Bitcoin, returning us for Bitcoin to levels seen in January 2021 and for Ethereum back to levels from January-March 2021. Also, what is quite interesting to observe is that we're observing very similar dynamics in terms of the long and short term holder supply and profit and loss ratios, like what we saw in the end of 2017, beginning of 2018, the previous big peak in Bitcoin prices. What is interesting to observe is that the short term, the majority of the short term holders are in loss, indicated by this pale uh, shade of red whereas most long-term holders are in profit as indicated by the darker shading in blue here and with these depressed prices a period of accumulation is potentially beginning like what we saw from the beginning of 2018 during the long period of consolidation in bitcoin prices also the crackdown in china against bitcoin miners resulted in very substantial drop in the mean hash rate of approximately 16%, taking us back to levels last seen in June to September 2020. And considering that many of the miners are driven out from the country, we can see that some of them are distributing their coins. Net position change is negative, suggesting that Bitcoin miners are selling. So let's now move to the charts and see how you can trade some of these insights. Beginning with Bitcoin versus Tether. I like 33,750 as my pivot point to initiate long positions in Bitcoin with targets 35,000 and 36,200 based on horizontal support and resistance levels, one of the most reliable indicators for trading. Now for Ethereum, I like 2010 as my pivot point, buying Ethereum above that level. My two targets are 2140 and 2250. Conversely, on the short side, if we break below 2010, selling Ethereum with targets 1940 and 1856. And now we're moving to Ripple. Ripple comes with a buy signal on the Storm Game platform at the time of filming. 0.65 is the good level to look for to initiate long positions with target 0.69 and 0.74. Conversely, below 0.65, selling Ripple as the downside pressure is likely to prevail and take us on the short side to 0.6 and then further down to 0.54. And now we're moving to Litecoin. Litecoin also comes with a buy signal on the Stormian platform as of the time of filming. I suggest initiating long positions above 130 with targets one with targets 137.5 and 145.5, which are the nearest resistance levels. Conversely, if we break below 1030, we could see more declines taking us down to 120 and then lower down to 10. Six, And finally, we are moving to take a look at what's going on with Cardano. For Cardano, I like 1.26 as my pivot point to initiate long positions with targets 1.38 and 1.458. Conversely, below 1.26, selling Cardano with targets 1.175 and 1.01. All the ideas from today come from major crypto assets, so we discuss Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, Litecoin, Litecoin and Cardano. These are good opportunities to begin trading once again after we saw some substantial declines and recover your confidence in crypto trading. As always, keep learning with the video education section, the Crypto Games Marketing Site subsection, and very importantly, remember to join the Crypto Signals Made Easy channel for insightful articles and trading ideas. Thanks for joining me today. Trade wisely and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.